All right, boys, it's time to get serious. Get your heads out of the washing machine and help me finish this sort function in this simple bubble sort algorithm in the MIPS assembly language. I will start prototyping the loop to compare values in the array by adding labels, branching conditions, and denoting the general purpose T0 register to hold the value for incrementing I. I know what comes next. We will take the memory address of this array and increment by the value in T0 each time to access the respective index. Joe, are you already falling asleep? If you didn't have the build of a chimpanzee, then you would know that we have to multiply by four as we are accessing an array of integers and not characters. Okay, fine. There, we can then get the values in the array by loading the values at the memory address using LB. You brick. Did you not listen to anything I just said? Is your dementia that bad? Again, we're dealing with integers, not chars. You've got to use LW instead. I will now denote the swap condition, which takes two array indices and swaps them if they are not ordered. May I also point out that we have no way to tell if the array has been sorted, which any passing DSA student would be aware of. That will be trivial to implement. All we have to do is add a loop and a flag variable that checks if numbers were swapped. If no numbers were swapped, then we know the array is ordered. There. Let's run the program. Joe, you donkey. You've gone and clobbered the T registers. Okay, Donald. If you're so smart, why didn't you pick up on it? Enough fighting. We just need to store the values into different registers so that their memory addresses aren't overwritten. See? All right, we've now fixed the registers. It should work now. Let's run the program again to see what Joe inevitably messed up this time. Hey, why is this going forever? This is taking almost as long as Donald does in the toilet after Taco Bell. Joe, you monkey, you need to push and pop the return address RA from the stack frame to go back to your function. Even a blind person can see that. If you know so much about pushing, then why is it so hard to push the flush button after your shit? Guys, stop. I got it working. Don't forget to include comments outlining what registers were used so that Joe doesn't forget and clobber the registers again. Doing that right now. Thanks, boys. Any chance you could help me with assignment two, file recursion? Sorry, but I got a meeting with Joe's mom soon. Hey, what? <laughs>